Hi everybody, welcome back. So I got a final reveal on this monogram 1940 Ford Standard Coupe. So I thought I'd show it off and let you guys see what you think. Here she is. So, um, I know I'd mentioned this before, but this kit actually went to went together very, very well. Um, if it hadn't been for painting the body and taking some extra time to do that and everything, I probably could have finished this entire kit in a day. That's how smooth this thing went together. I was very, very happy with that. Um, it was a refreshing change uh, from what... Uh, some of my other past experiences have been where, you know, been fiddly parts and other things like that. And this didn't have any of that. So I was very pleased. Um, it did have a couple of things um, that I'm going to question. And I'm just going to bring them up and I'll see what you guys think about it. Um, but uh, let me show you the car first and then I'll go over that. Let me just stop this real quick. So what I'm gonna do is doo -doo -doo -doo, bring this up. I'm trying a different camera angle today. So there we go. Now there's a couple of things I did wrong, and I realized that after I had glued it, if you'll notice, the door handles are on backwards. They should be facing this way, not that way. But I didn't realize I had done that until after the glue had set. And I said, all right, screw it. I'm going to leave it. Um, I used, uh, you remember we were talking about the um, license plates. So I put some New Jersey historic plates on this car. Again. Door handles in the wrong place. And let's go to the plate, trunk. This actually turned out really well. Um, flip this over real quick. Not much to the underneath. Um, I didn't really weather this up or anything. Um, I just kind of got everything put together. Um, the only couple of, not really fit issues, it was just really weird the way the instructions are written. Um, I've got my little pointing stick here. So you don't have to see my big fat fingers. So, down in here, where this exhaust pipe goes, there's, um, like a little piece of plastic that says just to attach it. But there's no like it doesn't really give a suggestion as to where to attach it or like a groove for it to sit in or anything like that. So that was a little bit of guesswork to figure out exactly where it was supposed to go. Um, the other thing that was a little weird were the rear view mirrors. And I'm going to point out something else with the box art in the uh, instructions and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, the other pain in the butt part was the mirror had to be attached to the brackets for both of these, and that was a royal pain in the neck, and they would not. Uh, there was like a little small hole and a little, bit, little bitty pin, and trying to attach that uh, took some effort to the point where I was close to just saying, okay, I'm not gonna do this. Let's see if I can get the trunk off here, or hood. The engine, just kind of bare bones. I haven't gotten to that point where I can actually wire anything up yet. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for some engine detailing parts, some wire and distributor caps and all that kind of stuff to arrive. And I'll try that on the next model I do, I guess. Uh, the interior, you guys saw that before in the last video, but it went together really, really well. Though you really can't see too much in the way of detail in there. There's that. I'm actually very pleased with this 
with this kit. I mean, it went together so well. Oh, uh, the other fiddly part was with the tires. So there's a little bit of a plug in what I would suggest to anybody who builds this kit. The, f the rear axle isn't so bad because it's pretty solid. The front is very um, thin and you have to squeeze the tires on. Well, when you do that, this whole thing flexes. So it has you mount all this stuff first, then try to put the tires on. What I would suggest is that you put the tires on and squeeze it so that you get it in there, then glue everything together. So you're not putting a whole lot of pressure on these bars. Uh, the first time I did it, I ended up snapping the entire suspension off of the frame when I attempted to do it. And it took a little bit of effort to kind of squeeze the tires on. So there's that. But well, like I said, overall, this was a fun kit to build. Um, now what I'm going to show you. Bring the box art back here for a second. So you notice on the box art. Now I'm not sure which is right here. You notice here that the rear view mirrors are on the door. And you notice that the windshield wipers are facing in towards each other, right? So they'll wipe this way. When you look at the instructions here, the windshield wipers are out facing away from each other. And you'll notice that the, oh, here, this is a better picture of it. The rear view mirrors or on the body, not the door. So that's what I went with. And then I realized, I looked at the box art later, I was like closing the box and I went, oh, crap, maybe I put that in the wrong space. Um, so I'm not sure which is right. And this is kind of what I went with. So yeah, that's my, that's my thinking on that one. So anyway, again, an enjoyable build. Um, this, kit was a lot of fun. Just give you another 360 view. And I'll throw up some stills of this kit of the finished one so you get a little bit better look at it at the end. So I hope everybody's doing well and I hope your weekend's going well. I am off to work in about an hour or two and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Everybody have a great week. Bye.